The work vlog starts about the seven minute 45 mark, so you can scroll ahead. The whole first part is just me talking about how to save about 540 bucks a year, plus on trash service. Just a way to save money. I think somebody's here. I gotta get this. So, yeah, that's that. Hopefully you enjoy. That's that. Here we go. Holy crap. I own a trencher. I forgot all about this. I believe this will hook right up to my skid steer. And I can make a trench. I don't need to make a trench. But it's nice to know I can make a trench. You know what I mean? One owner car guy. Oneownercarguy.com And this here is going to be a video. It's a new series I'm going to do. It's save money on. And then you'll see a little dot. And it'll say what you're going to save money on. And I'm going to do videos about that stuff. Today's video is going to be about trash service, the dump, and different questions I got asked on the previous videos, which you should check out. I do new daily vlogs every day, some kind of videos going up. Um, check them out. Check out the past ones. Subscribe and click the little bell notification down before and be here for future ones. That's that. Okay, so today I will be talking about that, and then I'm going to walk around and do some of the things and talk about some of the things we're going to be doing around here, like getting this off of here getting that on there, I think, and breaking the engine loose. My engine got locked up. This is a bad deal, but we're gonna try and fix this with xylene and marble mystery oil. Tranny fluid. Saving money on trash. And I'm gonna grab this here because I'm putting de-icer in my truck getting ready for a road trip. Saving money on trash service. Everyone knows the trash service is owned by the mob, right? The mob runs it. They make it to money. That's, that's the way it is, right? Well, no, not really. Counties, towns, cities, um, state, they own a lot of trash service. So, <laughs> the prices ain't cheap, as you can imagine. I'm checking the fluids, adding the washer fluid, getting ready for a road trip here. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna make this video about trash service, because trash service is not really cheap. I mean, it's 30 to 70 bucks, depending on where you are, for a month. And you're kind of limited on what you can throw away. It's cold. My hood struts didn't want to hold up. Trash service. It's expensive. It's not cheap. And if you plan it out right, you can save a lot of money outright. Towns, cities, all these places. They're the ones that are running the trash service. They are the mob. And in another county where I have a ranch, I've got one, two, three, four, five units there. Of houses and commercial buildings and such. They charge me 250 bucks a year or so whether I'm there or not, for trash service. So I'm paying a thousand dollars a year for trash service that I really don't use, or nobody's using, because the places are vacant most of the time. It's an investment property. But how do you save money on trash? How do you make it to where you can actually do this? Well, you take it to the dump. That's the way to do it. Recycling is not just for hugging trees. Recycling is also for saving you room in your trash can. You could take these plastics and uh, things like that and save them aside and you get rid of that for free. Sometimes, like in California, you can even get paid and make that an income, have the kids do it. That way the kids get some type of way to get income. It's a great way to lessen what's in landfills, but mostly lessen what's in your trash can that you have to pay to get rid of. The worst, biggest thing you've got to worry about when you keep your trash on site. And when you have acres and acres of property like this, it's really easy to keep your trash on site, basically as long as I want. I've got that dump trailer over there, and we'll walk over that way. And when I do that, I just dump everything in the dump trailer and kind of forget about it. I can make it a year. A year! Easily. Oops. Without paying to go to the dump. And when you go to the dump, find out I just dumped a ton and a half. Not, yeah, about a ton and a half. So a ton and a half, a subscriber commented on the last video that they pay $77 a ton where they are. Well, that'd be like 140 bucks, or excuse me, that'd be like $110 right in there. Something like that. To dump a ton and a half. Now, here's my dump trailer. And it's really, really simple to just load something up and keep it on site. There's one problem with doing this that I will go over. Look at this. I got so much garbage in here, and I haven't even smashed it down yet. You can get up on top of this and jump up and down when it's done and get even more in. Here in Montana, you pay by the cubic yard. So paying by the cubic yard, I got charged for 10. 
but I guarantee you I probably had 20 in there because not only have I got a dump trailer, I got a skid steer. And with the skid steer, we were able to smash that stuff like you wouldn't believe. So you can get a lot in there. I've been doing cleanup. Otherwise, a year, and I could take that trailer in, smash it down and pay for five cubic yards, six cubic yards, and what is that? 120 bucks. So that's a year's trash service. Think of the savings there that you're putting in your pocket or your investment account or whatever. You might not have a trailer. You just need a place around the house. You can store some bags to throw them in the back of the pick em up truck. If you ain't got a pick em up truck, ask your husband. <laughs> what you gotta be careful of is stuff rotting. You don't want stuff to rot in your trash. It'll bring rats, it'll bring things. Leftover food. Um, vegetables, stuff that expires. What do you do with it? Shove it down your garbage disposal if you have a garbage disposal and you're hooked up to sewer. If you're on a septic tank, you might not want to be shoving everything down your sewer because it's on a sewer. It's a septic tank and that might cause problems. Although I have heard dumping milk that's rotten does create good bacteria in your septic tank which helps the bacteria eat poo-poo faster. I don't know. I'm no scientist. I'm a guy that does trucks and hey, I do siding. Uh, yep, whatever you need, but when it comes to the scientific analogy of poo, I only know about Mr. Hanky. So, whole point of this video is save money on trash. Save money on trash. That's, that is the point. I mean, save that money. And let's say you don't have a garbage disposal. Let's say you're on a septic. Well, how are you going to get rid of all this rotting stuff without putting it in your trash? You can separate out plastics and recyclables. You could burn stuff some places, but how do you get rid of these rotting things? You know what? Every time you go to the gas station, you take a little bag with you. You just stick it in a trash can. They expect you to clean your car out there. Every time you stop at a McDonald's, well, they got a trash can right in front of their place. So, I mean, I don't see nothing wrong with ordering a McDouble and dumping out a little uh, grocery bag full of trash. Hey, live and let live, right? <laughs> something like that so save money on trash that was the main thing of this okay my truck is raring to go like I said it's gonna be a save money on series and then after that would be my vlog so I'm just gonna throw in what's happening for the day here and talk about that real quick and hopefully you enjoy and hopefully you subscribe and stay subscribed and keep enjoying so I have to get to California a woman has a uncle that passed away and man I'll tell you what trying to get down there Saturday is becoming a big problem for me I have dogs I have a business here I have all this stuff to take care of and I am putting all my effort into making this happen because I also have the problems with my rental place and my landlord and I'm supposed to talk to him on the 23rd which is today um, well I'm obviously not there so that's a problem I'm trying to make everything work to where everybody's happy. I want her to be able to go to this memorial service thing and I want to make sure my landlord's happy, which if I don't get down there pretty soon, he's not going to be. And I take, I took my hitch. I ain't got a hitch in this thing. There ain't no hitch around here. No hitches. So that's the deal. I'm trying to get out of here. It's a big mess. Um, I'm out here thinking I was going to be able to leave tonight. And I don't even have my trailer unloaded. Heck, I ain't even got a hitch on the back of my truck. So my buddy Rich is going to come out today, and we'll make the video for tomorrow. Um, we're going to be hooking up stuff, doing stuff, working on stuff, loading up that trash, things like that. Um, and here's my hitch. Because we pulled back the siding machine, which you'll be seeing stuff on that come out. Look at them ladders or planks. Scaffolding. If you, by chance, live in Europe, or you live in Mexico, out of the United States, you need this excursion. I'm looking to get a one ton, and these are on a three quarter ton chassis. So it's been a great truck for me, it's a V10. And I absolutely love it, but it can only be sold out of the United States. In fact, look at this, VIN number, right there. Last 10, VIN number. It's everywhere on this car, on every piece, they put the VIN. In fact, even on the mirror, so weird, I've never encountered anything like this. It was a government vehicle. 
First time every time, baby. Okay. Maybe not first time every time, but I do pretty good at it. Okay, so mostly this vlog is just gonna be complaining about what's going on. I don't know where this is even. But that's the life, that's the stuff. And I'll make some videos along the way on the road trip and such, and videos while I'm down there. I'm gonna be getting rid of all the cars. So if there's something you've been interested in, you really need to get at me because they ain't gonna be around for long. I'm about done. Um, once I get this last little bit restructured, it's gonna be a different deal. So, that's that. Look at that cuckfy. It's coming up too. Nice. Sandals! That's what you use, right? Okay, so. I'm going to finish hooking up my trailer, get this stuff all moved around, and I'll talk to you in a minute. See, the next question will be whether or not this car starts. And I have no clue, because I haven't even drove it in, I don't know, five months. But this is the hill I want to use to unload this car. It's just going to be a little easier. I've got doubts. My doubts are confirmed. However, I have a jump box. You know, if someone wants a deal on a beautiful 140, look at the full video on my website and I'll make you a deal on this one. 3950 bucks. It's a steal. Oh my God, what a beautiful, awesome Bosch battery. Forgot I had that in here. Well, I think it's gonna fire right up now. Beautiful car if you're interested. Mm. I'll charge the battery for you. Don't you fret, I'll charge the battery for you. Well, I'm not gonna carry this camera around, but I am gonna back this up into that hole over there. So I'll just point it that way, like so, and put my little thing under it. Actually, I'll probably cut all this out, because you don't wanna hear that, but. I'm going to put it right about, I'm going to put it right about there. Okay, that accomplished pretty much what I wanted to do. Um, I think by the time we pump this thing up, it'll be the way I want it. Um, I might back up a little more, but I had to break that couple branches off that tree so I scratch up my truck. But that definitely gives us a lot more. Yeah, that's nice. I mean, there's not a lot of, you can tell right here, that's gonna give us a lot more you know, angle to not scrape the front bumper off. Now, the dodo that did this paint job notched my bumper out. Actually notched the bumper out to fit these. What kind of an idiot would do that? You know, it takes all kinds. And I'll tell you, that's just crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. But yeah, anybody know about how to prune one of these? I want to clip it a lot, but I don't really know where to clip it. I clipped off some of the branches, but I don't want to over kill it. I don't want to underkill it. Now I told you we were going to talk about this. Somehow or another, this had tape and a can, and the can came off, and somehow or another water got down that tilt pipe. Motor's locked up. We're going to pour xylene and transmission fluid in it. This here, I don't like the fact that that's open. Jeez, it's getting wore off. I had to plug that one up. The hell is this? Actually might have been hydraulic fluid at one point. <laughs> oh well. I need to unscrew that seat and take it down to Enrique and get a new seat put on it because that is not good. Okay, well, I guess that's the video. 
And the how to save money thing, I'm gonna throw up without the vlogs in it usually. I don't know what I'm doing here, how I'm doing it. Just know I'll be making videos every day. I know I'm gonna try and hit the road tonight. It ain't gonna happen. I'm gonna try and hit it in the morning. I don't know how it'll happen. I have no clue what's gonna happen right now. I'm just trying and yeah. Fun stuff. Have a great day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. Hope you enjoyed. I know I enjoy. You gotta enjoy every day, right? Rich will be out here a little later. We're gonna make some videos, do some stuff. Man, I got trash everywhere. Not for long. This place is getting cleaned up. And just the accumulation of me not being here is gonna disappear. Because I'm here. I'm here. I'll talk to you. See you tomorrow.